In general, safety means preventing accidents and injuries. To prevent accidents and injuries, you need to be aware of the hazards associated with your job, and you need to take specific steps to minimize those hazards. Now, some of the more obvious hazards in substations and switchyards are electrical hazards. Any energized conductor or equipment can be an electrical hazard, such as buses, power transformers, circuit breakers, and other energized conductors and equipment. The hazard is in accidentally contacting an energized circuit. You can't tell just by looking which conductors and equipment are energized and which are not. So the safe approach is to assume they are all energized until you can prove otherwise. Other hazards in substations and switchyards are chemicals, which can include any liquid or gas that can harm you if not handled properly. For example, Battery acid is a chemical that can burn your skin and damage your clothing if you don't wear the proper protective gear. PCBs are chemicals that are highly toxic. Now you should observe special precautions if there's a chance you could be exposed to PCBs. A third type of hazard can be described as personal hazard. A personal hazard is a hazard that you or someone else creates or sets up. For example, you can set someone up for an accident if you don't keep stairways and work areas clear of obstacles. You can strain your back moving a heavy object if you don't lift it right. And you can set yourself up for a fall if you don't use a ladder properly. Now planning a job can be just as important as doing the job because proper planning can reduce or eliminate hazards. Planning often takes place at a tailgate conference before a job is started. Confusion and misunderstandings can be avoided by identifying the steps involved in doing a job and by identifying who is responsible for each step. Now, accidents can be avoided by alerting everyone to the hazards involved and by discussing how to deal with those hazards. Inspecting the job site is another important safety practice. During an inspection, you can note fire extinguishers, the location of phones, exits, and anything else you might want to know about the station. You can also check the site for unexpected hazards. For example, signs of faulty equipment such as broken insulators, leaking oil, and unusual noises. 